as you're probably aware, women tend to be underrepresented in our industry. And part of what we are doing uh, in support of our STEM outreach is trying to spark the imagination and the interest of young girls in understanding energy, engineering, nuclear energy, and some of the STEM career path opportunities um, that are open to them in the future. At their most recent Indy 500, in collaboration with the Nuclear Clean Air Energy Indy Initiative, Arriva, NEI, and Purdue University came together in a special outreach effort to the Girl Scouts of Central Indiana. We provided an opportunity for 75 Girl Scouts to participate in a half-day workshop that explored the topics at the intersection of racing, energy, and engineering. They rotated through five different activities, the first of which touched upon the principles of racing, what makes a car go, lift, thrust, and drag. In the second activity, the Girl Scouts had the opportunity to use lemons to generate electricity, which they then measured with a multimeter. In addition, they had the opportunity to play with a homemade magnetic electricity generator mm -hmm. um, that was attached to a really small LED lamp mm -hmm. so they could see power generation in action. The third activity was focused on exploring engineering design and structure. Um, what better way to do that than with spaghetti and marshmallows? <laughs> the girls were divided into two teams and had the opportunity to compete against one another to build the tallest freestanding tower possible. The fourth station, not surprisingly, because it is the nuclear clean air energy campaign, was focused on nuclear power, helping the girls to better understand the efficiency of nuclear power, safe handling of nuclear materials, and just at a very basic level, the nuclear fission process. The fifth activity took our STEM event from STEM to STEAM, and it was an arts activity. And we had uh, nuclear blogger, artist, and educator Susie Hobbs Baker participating in the workshop. And what she did is she led the girls through an activity that examined the anatomy of an atom. And once they had learned the different parts of an atom, each of the girls painted an atom. And then she took all of the girls' paintings and assembled them into an overall piece that was then presented uh, to Simona Di Silvestro, the, the driver of the number 78 nuclear clean air energy Indy car. We are measuring our results in a, in a couple of different ways. On the one hand, it was the opportunity to engage the girls in hands-on activities mm -hmm. and spark that initial awareness. So at this pilot activity, you know, we had 75 girls. What I didn't mention is that we also had 55 parents in attendance. So while the girls were in one area engaging in hands-on experiments, we had the opportunity to talk to the parents in, the other, in another area. Um, the parents had the opportunity to ask questions mm -hmm. about nuclear power, uh, to learn a little bit about what their daughters um, and, and scouts were engaged in. And so in that regard, it was a great vehicle, if you will, for not only potentially sparking the interest and excitement of girls in understanding energy, electricity, and racing, um, but also for the parents to better understand nuclear energy um, and what kinds of career opportunities there are for their girls in our industry.